Greetings to all. Today we'll talk about how hair dryers have evolved. In 1890 the first hair dryer was invented by French stylist Alexander Godefroy. His invention was a large, seated version that consisted of a bonnet that attached to the chimney pipe of a gas stove. Godefroy invented it for use in his hair salon in France, and it was not portable or handheld. It could only be used by having the person sit underneath it. Armenian-American inventor Gabriel Kazanjian was the first to patent a blow dryer in the United States, in 1911. Around 1920, hair dryers began to go on the market in handheld form. This was due to innovations by National Stamping and Electricworks under the White Cross brand, and later U.S. Racine Universal Motor Company and the Hamilton Beach Company, which allowed the dryer to be small enough to be held by hand. Even in the 1920s, the new dryers were often heavy, weighing in at approximately 2 pounds .9 kilograms, and were difficult to use. They also had many instances of overheating and electrocution. Hair dryers were only capable of using 100 watts, which increased the amount of time needed to dry hair, the average dryer today can use up to 2000 watts of heat. Since the 1920s, development of the hair dryer has mainly focused on improving the wattage and superficial exterior and material changes. In fact, the mechanism of the dryer has not had any significant changes since its inception. One of the more important changes for the hair dryer is to be made of plastic. Another important change happened in 1954 when GEC changed the design of the dryer to move the motor inside the casing. The 1950s also saw the introduction of the rigid hood hair dryer which is the type most frequently seen in salons. It had a hard plastic helmet that wraps around the person's head. This dryer works similarly to the bonnet dryer of the 1950s but at a much higher wattage. In the 1970s, ionization technology emerged to reduce the static charge in hair and make it smoother and shinier. This technology has been incorporated into new hair dryers, making them more efficient at drying hair. In the 1990s, ceramic coating technology appeared, which made it possible to more evenly distribute heat over the surface of the hair and reduce the risk of overheating. This technology has also been integrated into new hair dryer models. In the 2000s, hair dryers with infrared heating appeared, which acted more gently on the hair, reducing the risk of damage and preserving its natural moisture. There are various models of hair dryers on the market today that integrate all these technologies and have many additional features, such as adjustable temperature settings, airflow rates, various nozzles and hair protection functions. There are also portable hair dryers, which can be powered by a rechargeable battery or connected to a USB port. These models are very convenient for use on trips or in other places where there is no access to electricity. In the future, further developments in hair dryer technology can be expected. Perhaps there will be new materials for heating surfaces, new methods of ionization, as well as the integration of smart home functions that will allow you to control the hair dryer using voice commands or a mobile application.